we are back to uh, section 4.3 and the first derivative test. What is first derivative test? First derivative is for local extrema. Suppose that C is a critical number of a continuous function F. If F prime changes from positive to negative at C, then F has a local maximum. So F F prime, this is F prime, and, and, and F prime is positive before C, and after C it's negative. Um, what does F do? F is going to be increasing, then decreasing, according to uh, the theorem we just proved, and therefore there is a local maximum here. And part and the second part is saying is f prime is negative before and then changes to positive. This is f prime, so f is negative, then it becomes positive. There's a local min. And then if f prime does not change sign at c, then f is neither a local max or local mean. And if you see this, if, it, if f prime doesn't change sign, then if it's increasing, it's going to stay increasing. If f is decreasing, it's going to stay decreasing. And here's, here's one, one, one in that situation. f prime is positive before, f prime is positive after, therefore, uh, there, there is no local min or max. Here is f prime is positive, then becomes negative, negative, then becomes positive, and so on and so forth. Now let's do an example. Example 5. Find the extrema of f if you know, see, notice, f is not given, but f prime is. So let's use the first derivative test to find the um, local extremas. Now, this question, question, example five, find the local extrema of f, uh, if f prime of x is equal to x minus four to power three times x plus three to power seven, x minus two to power six. Uh, notice that the, the problem is giving you f prime, so you don't have to calculate f prime and it saves you a little bit of time. Um, and so now in here, um, I'm looking at this function and I see, um, I'm trying to figure out what uh, the sine of f prime is. Because sine of f prime will tell me, uh, is going to help me with the first derivative test. Sine of f prime, again, by intermediate value theorem, um, I have to uh, find all the uh, all the points of discontinuity and all the zeros. Here is only points of uh, only zeros, no points of discontinuity. 4 is a root, negative 3 is a root, and 2 is a root. Negative 3, then 2, and then 4. Now, if you notice um, the, in, in here, if I plug in, in, in this value, f prime, as x goes to negative infinity, um, very big number, negative number minus 4 to power 3 is very big negative number. Ne big negative number plus 3 to power 7 is still big, very big negative number. Times very big neg negative number to power 6, which is going to be a positive number. So negative times negative times positive. This is positive toward the uh, negative infinity. Also, as it goes to positive infinity, very positive number to power 3, positive number to power 7, positive number to power 6. Over here, two n behaviors are positive. Um, and, and, and another way of finding this, this is a polynomial, and, and the degree of the polynomial is going to be even. Just add up 6 plus 7 plus 3 is going to be an even number. So the end point, the end behavior is going to be um, um, positive. Now, at every zero, and the sign may or may not change. Uh, by intermediate theorem, at other places it won't. Um, and since this is not, this is continuous everywhere. And, and so I'm looking at this and, and I look at x equal to negative 3. x equal to negative 3 is, is part of 
uh, this factor that's to uh, that's uh, of e odd degrees therefore this sign changes as we pass a x equal to negative 3 becomes negative x equal to 2 is an even degree so the sign does not change and x equal to 4 is an odd, odd degree the sign changes which already because of the um, end behavior we have it now look at the uh, if f is increasing or decreasing increasing here decreasing here decreasing here increasing there and so over here i see a hill and a hill and i here i see a valley so at x equal to negative three local max at x equal to four local min and at x equal to two neither now let's do another problem uh, similar to this and so this was the first derivative test again using the first derivative the sign we figured out uh, um, the local min local max and and the rest and now let's do another problem problem example six find the local extreme of the function f of x equal to x plus one or to power two divided by x times x minus two notice this function is not continuous everywhere namely it's not continuous at zero and at two so when you when you take the derivative um and those points are gonna not be part of the domain um but then the first thing that you do you have to take the derivative because it's a first derivative test to find a local extreme so when you take the derivative uh, remember this is a quotient rule do the quotient rule remember that you have to factor as much as you can to find all the roots of numerator and denominator roots of denominator to find the points of discontinuity of f prime roots of numerator to find the zeros of the f prime so if i put all in and i see i have a negative one uh, that's a zero here i have uh, one half here i have two which is not in the domain and then zero so i put all those points on a number line and then um, what i see is that as x goes to negative infinity um, this part is going to be a positive value uh, as so as x goes to very negative value in a very large negative values this part is going to be positive this part is going to be negative and the ones in the bottom are to power two so they don't they are positive so add toward the negative infinity i have a negative number uh, toward the positive infinity is this again toward the positive infinity this part is going to go um, very big positive number this one is going to be very big negative number and here is just positive so it's going to be positive times negative so i get a negative number again on this side then um then the same way that we treated on uh, the roots we can treat the uh, roots of the denominator as far as this if the sign changes or not um x equal to negative one which is which is the root of the numerator of degree one uh, the sign has to change so from negative we go to positive and x equal to zero the degree is um, even so the sign doesn't change at x equal to 0.5 the degree is odd so the sign changes at x equal to 2 the degree of x minus 2 is even so the sign doesn't change now looking at this I can see this is f prime so f would look like this down up up down down there's one uh, and that there's a bottom of the hill right here and top of the I'm sorry bottom of the valley down here top of the hill over there so at x equal to negative one there's a local min and at x equal to one half there's a local max and 
And if you graph the function, you will see um, from pre-calculus, we sort of knew how the, um, um, how the end behaviors are, and we knew how the, um, it, how, because we could find the limits. Now we know better to how to find the limits. And we knew that at x equal to, if we have at the denominator has zero as at zero and and two we will have two vertical asymptotes right there uh, now there's a little bit of more information than i know about increasing decreasing and finding this local min over here would not have been possible with the pre-calculus knowledge that we had before and this local max also was not uh, available to us with the uh, information that we had in, in pre-calculus. So we're getting more information and this is going to end up uh, graphing